sure we're live and pop out the chat. There we go. And let's bring out the chat. Pop out. Boop. Cool. Good morning, everyone. This is Chicho. And we are June 21st. Happy solstice, longest day of the year, right? 2019. And today uh, it's 7 a.m. Uh, Pacific time, West Coast, Canada. And we're doing an open discussion on current events, news, politics, economics, investing, and more. Okay. There's a lot going on. Uh, yesterday we had uh, the downing of a drone over Iran. Spy drone, U.S. spy drone over Iran, and the effects of right. Uh, there's Julian Assange. There's WikiLeaks. There's lots of economic news happening, trade wars proxy wars, building up the hot wars. That's on the news, current events front. And again, this discussion is open to open discussion, whatever you want to talk about. Uh, but there's a lot going on in the world. Don't even know where to start. Uh, that's my little chill intro, considering what the, what the state of the world is right now okay aside from that we're just going to wait until people roll in and uh, see where the conversation takes us uh, as far as uh, my breakfast i've already had a nice bowl of yogurt and fruit and whatnot hannah how are you doing chicho <laughs> man why are we up so early at this unearthly level <laughs> The reason, the main reason, is because I have a lot of things to do during the day. Uh, because at the end of the school year, I'm taking care of some paperwork and stuff like this, right? Um, and I'm getting an early start. <laughs> I'm waking up early. <laughs> Sorry to wake you guys up so early. Riot, good morning. How are you doing? Welcome to another stream. Welcome to another stream. I'm, I'm loving. Tell you the truth, Hannah, I'm loving getting up in the morning. Man. I'm up like by four. Birds start chirping, like around. You're around my area too, so birds start chirping around four o'clock in the morning, uh, four four thirty, and I'm awake. I get up and I start doing things. Happy weekend, Chicho and Chad. Happy weekend, touring news, uh, twitching, Jason, twitching Jason morning chicho a long time viewer on youtube first time viewer on twitch glad i finally caught you glad to have you here man glad to have you here brother or sister of course always always welcome twitch twitching jason hit that follow button for sure hit that follow button you should get notifications uh if you hit that follow button where you get a little notification i believe from back twitch and then another one from Discord or something like this. If you join the Discord forum as well. My girlfriend is working at a summer camp and she's gone for the summer. Wow. But I got to go visit her for two weeks. It will be fun. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Is this like a children's, uh, um, what do you call it, summer camp or like a adult sort of camping summer camp? Uh, just go out and do canoe trips and stuff like this. I don't know if you call those summer camps. I think those are just excursions. So summer camp should be just uh, for high school kids and stuff, high school or elementary. There's gonna be so many toys out there. So many toys. Here's a little snack I got, just in case. So damn early, Admik. How are you doing? Admik, I thought you were in Europe. If you're in Europe, it's not early for you. It's like uh, early evening, I guess. Uh, already followed. Plan to catch as many of these as possible. 
been loving listening to these uh, these chats while I work. Awesome, awesome. Sleep away camp for Jewish kids. Sleep away camp for Jewish kids. That's cool. That's cool. Jenny, how are you doing? It's third grade to tenth grade. Third grade, tenth grade. Oh, that's gonna be like chaos. <laughs> third grade, third, four, five, six. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hope uh, you didn't volunteer for any activities. This is a uh, rhubarb muffin that I bought from a local pastry. I've already had some breakfast. I don't know if I'm going to be munching on this. Uh, you're teasing me with food. <laughs> I, diet using, I diet using intermediate fasting. So my first meal doesn't happen until 2 to 4 p.m. Wow, wow, wow. I know people that don't eat after, or I've known people that don't eat after 6 p.m. or 8 p.m some people don't eat until starting at like until noon i've, I've known people that follow the chinese uh, internal clock of when you should do uh, you know when you should exercise when you should eat when you should uh, there's some kind of internal clock where certain times of the day is the best time to do something based on your organs and stuff and that's really cool i'd love to try that someday I'm visiting my family in North Carolina. Wow, North Carolina. So you're two hours ahead of me? It's like 9 a.m.? Odd, oh, Mick, by the way, we had some, uh, uh, someone asked us a math question in the last stream, and I mentioned your name saying you probably could have answered it. I didn't know the solution. It was some kind of uh, A over A plus B plus B over B plus C plus c over a plus b equals uh, a equals something i can't remember what it was it's supposed to be some kind of uh, complex problem to solve void hook i'm 24 from canada quebec watching your youtube for five years wow that's cool man now just discovered you're on twitch never really loved math or crap apple <laughs> but oh lord do I love me ASMR? Anything, anything you create is so fun to watch. Anything you do, I find interesting. Thanks for everything, bro. My pleasure, man. Thank you for sticking around for so long. <laughs> I've been on YouTube for like twelve years now, right? There's very few old timers that were that have that have been with me for twelve years. There's some. There's some, and I appreciate it very much. And five years is is pretty good brother pretty good especially since you're you started when you were 19 going up to 24 this is a period where you're going through huge huge growth and changes and understanding and stuff so it's, it's a pretty big uh, compliment honor to have stuck with you through that period they have a lot of canadians that come down uh it's in turn water washington turn water washington okay i probably know some people that were if this been if this thing's been around for a while i probably have some friends that probably attended that thing many many moons ago right they've told me about jewish camps they used to go to and i forget where where they were going to right they said they had a lot of fun i haven't personally never been to a summer camp i don't know how i feel about it uh, i don't know it's 10 a.m. right now, so you're three hours ahead. Okay, cool. Three hours ahead. 10 a.m. is late in the day. <laughs> already, already. I had a friend, by the way, I'll, I'll tell you this. I had a friend, his main uh, line sort of catchphrase, whenever I talked to him or whenever anyone talked to him, and he was probably right. He would say, I do more before 9 a.m. than you do all week. And the guy was hardcore, and he is hardcore i'll look at the problem later yeah i don't it supposedly it, it was a hard problem i didn't know how to do it those those type of things are beyond me i recently I, you know oh you know what odd make that video i'm not loading on you can only watch it on twitch it's the last asmr math video i don't know when it comes up i do write it out so you'll see it uh, on the board but uh that video i'm not going to be loading onto youtube or bit because there was a lag in um, 
in the video and when I downloaded it when, when I tried to upload it uh, there was a lag in the audio versus the video in the in the live stream when I uploaded it it's okay on twitch when you watch it but when you download it it's out of sync so I'm not going to go through and try to sync it up so that's one video we're not going to be it's once it's gone off twitch I've downloaded myself but I'm not going to be loading it up anywhere okay no biggie I think it was uh, it was a trick problem or a very difficult problem to solve I recently read that the CEO of Twitter and Square Jack Dorsey only eats a single meal a day really curious how it affects productivity creativity etc um, a twitching Jason uh, I've known people that do this only eat one meal uh, a day and for me I've I've reduced my intake a lot but I know through fasting that when you're fasting uh, your energy or my energy level anyone uh, from what I read kicks up huge there's like a few minutes of low energy periods during the day but in general it kicks up huge and one of the one of the things that I read uh, which was huge uh, <clears throat> when I started looking into diet and food like 20 years ago and stuff right more closely anyway uh, through the realm of entheogens of course uh, one thing I found was statistically the only true uh, correlation which people are associating with the cause and effect uh, that they've linked longevity and good health to is eating less okay so there's a huge correlation between eating minimal just what the body requires not overeating i forget what the terminology is called for it uh, and healthy long life okay it's like forget almost anything else within reason of course and just consume less food and the odds are statistically speaking you will have a longer and healthier life all right and for me as well once i stopped gorging uh, just the body feels better right would you say no to a five-year-old heart would you say no to a five-year-old heart Ah yes, I, knew. I should have read your name first. These are your trick questions, uh, complex questions. Would you say no to no to a five-year-old heart? It depends, I guess. Yeah, that's my goal normally. One good meal, nice. Yeah, in the, for us as well, we usually consume our big meal is in during uh, the afternoon, lunchtime or something. At nighttime, it's snacking to a certain degree, and in the morning, I I like a good breakfast. Uh, Camp Solomon, uh, Sheckler, I'm sure they have been. It's huge. They also have zip zippling my uh, zippling my favorite 500 acre of land in the forest on a lake. Wow, that sounds like fun. I'm gonna bring my guitar and play Rafi music. <laughs> <laughs> this is just me making shit up based on how I feel but I feel much more mentally sharp I imagine something primal goes on to help on the hunt yeah maybe riot I've also read the uh, uh, papers that uh, there are people who fast once a week one day a week they don't eat and supposedly releases certain types of chemicals in the brain that uh, help improve uh, mental capacity right don't you think that you could uh, resync it with programs like audio audacy I don't know I haven't used audio uh, Aud city I guess other city I don't know how you pronounce that uh, I haven't used any audio programs uh, Jindy, I might it's just because I have so many videos like I have still the 10 by 10 puzzle three games i need to edit and you should see the number of videos that got lined up to do uh it's just there's there's no lack of content that, that i want to create so i rather just create the content and just new content and load that up and this will be like a special thing right for those who watched it live and are able to watch it on twitch 
it's there. Once it's gone, it's gone. So I guess it's sort of a, like a special little thing. And uh, I think there's been a couple of other videos like this too that I haven't had the opportunity to load on or I've moved on or whatever it might be uh, through the Twitch anyway. And there's definitely videos I've, I've shot that I, I wasn't, you know, I was 100% pleased with the outcome. Uh, and some of those videos I haven't gone through re reshot yet and I haven't added those up and loaded up. So it's just, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Luna, how are you doing? Hello, hello. Welcome to another last stream. It's supposed to also help with aging, but I don't know. I just enjoy the energy I get from fasting. Yeah, yeah, right. I loved it. Personally, I loved uh, how I felt through fasting. It gave me huge insight into my own body, uh, my mind, my abilities, my relationship with food. Like, is huge, huge highly recommend it Dante Dante how are you doing good morning good morning for sure that makes sense interest yeah I do intermittent uh, fasting uh, supplemented by a coffee in the morning and I do feel like it boosts my productivity in the morning but it's more of a matter of uninterrupted work time rather than anything biological or having to do with my energy or maybe it is and I just don't realize it I don't know the thing that it, with food is too it's uh, it, it takes energy to digest food to consume food right I mean one of the greatest inventions uh, ground breaking inventions that humans have had is fire right and not just because it provided protection and shelter and not shelter but protection and uh, heat right but it also helped cook food, which made it easier for us to digest food. So it required less energy to nourish yourself. So huge, huge, right? I tried fasting, but I end up drinking lots and lots of coffee. Ooh, lots of coffee and fasting. That energy level would be insane. Oh yeah, there's usually some coffee involved. No uh no sugar or anything in it but uh but that or green tea helps eventually your hunger uh signals stop uh bugging you every three hours for food yeah and water just drinking straight up glass of water i do tea mm -hmm. yeah you could always drink water i almost don't eat anything i almost didn't eat anything yesterday because i was busy didn't really feel hungry even but it's almost important for me to fast if i am on board i feel cool cool yeah our relationship with food is is one of the things that has to dramatically change uh, collectively on mass for us to really have an impact on our current political economic system impossible How's everybody doing anyway, aside from fasting and, and uh, following the news and managing finances? Our timing for these weekly news politics live stream have been pretty bang on so far. Uh, I'm glad we kicked it up. I'm ready for engineered meat. Are you? I'm not. I wouldn't I personally wouldn't need engineered meat right tell you the truth I don't know if there's supposed to be sarcasm at the end of that but I don't trust our centralized institutions I really don't there um, it blows my mind right how people are taking the that are folding under the pressure of comfort uh, that people are incorporating so many things that are in the long run are detrimental to the well-being of our societies because it's easy to do right now uh, it's interesting to me whenever i'm not doing something i feel like i got to eat um six to 170 pounds wow 
you're slim you're slender void very not fat yeah but once i'm doing nothing damn eating yeah i think it's habit as well right void it's like people smoke cigarettes or tap or twitch their leg i do that uh well the twitching leg i think that's more of a genetic thing maybe uh, but i know i do things out of habit i fasted a lot in uh in undergrad is that because uh, you ran out of money <laughs> <I'm> on <odd> by <laughs> choice or by uh, uh much more more convenient than stopping for meals help you get drunk faster yeah that's one thing it does on me for sure if you want to go out and do some drinking you're on low on budget just don't eat i don't recommend whoa there's a thesis paper for you how, that, how society's relationship with food affects our political and economic system i'm pretty sure uh, uh twitching jason i'm pretty sure it's already been written uh our consumption of food is is one of the most major driving forces behind our political and economic uh, systems huge huge it's been the cause of wars and conflicts and and everything and anything right now that the school year is over will this stream ever be like three four days a week yeah it will be at some point hannah yeah i just got to catch my breath a little bit and i'm doing videos in the background uh, but at some point i'm gonna need to sort of organize and sort of uh, schedule the stream so I can do them in batches because when I if, if you were following my work you know I do I put out videos in batches one of the reasons I put out videos in batches is because I like going off on a certain topic and just spending some time with it and then pulling away and doing something else right that's my ADD or whatever you want to call it kicking in right but one of the other reasons I like doing videos in batches is because it optimizes my work I can create more work right so at some point um, when I get focused I do need to take a little break get a little organized group some of the videos in batches and then start putting those out and we'll be doing three to four day uh, week uh, what do you call that uh, streams as well what's the agenda for today I has current events and there's a lot to talk about so and I'm okay talking about anything else really I'm sort of uh, consuming a lot of news so I'm vegetarian I totally eat impossible burgers and stuff uh i miss the taste it's basically an addiction yeah it is and i think our bodies one of the things too odd oh, make uh everybody can't be a vegetarian i don't believe so everybody can't be a carnivore everyone can't be um i don't know what all the different terminologies is right we just have to listen to our bodies and figure out what's best for us nicholas how are you doing our friend from ireland hey chicho hey chat how long have you been streaming for have i missed much no you haven't missed much we've been up for like 20 minutes or so nicholas not long you can do a pro little exclamation mark and up time and i'll give you the exact time how long we've been up 23 minutes this is not really news but what are your thoughts on the treatment of the uh in china i can't even pr i can't pronounce their names the muslim uh uh, area in china i believe shiging shiging uyghurs I, I can't pronounce it uh but i think it's shijing uh province i think it's horrendous i don't i like everyone knows like and many people would agree centralized power uh, the problem with it is centralization of power right there's a central entity power that has decided that it should control a certain territory and it doesn't agree with the population of this territory wanting autonomy so crush what's going on there is what's going on in many parts of the world from morocco to oh geez it just goes on uh, everywhere i don't eat most meat right now because of what our uh, centralized powers have done with our food chicho yeah riot i've reduced my meat intake by big time and i stopped eating out a lot uh, because i don't trust the meat i don't i don't know where it's coming from i don't want to support that and i buy usually like 99 percent of the meat that we buy 
is local uh, 75 percent of it local farms and stuff like this but it's local so that's uh, one way i've managed to sort of uh, rationalize consumption of meat for myself i'll see where that takes me right i managed uh, mcdonald's for three years the meat there is off off yeah i don't even call it food like those things i don't call food uh, it may keep you alive but it will not keep you healthy uh, and to me food has to have a health effect to it health benefit to it if you're just eating to s sustain your life to to make sure you don't die because of starvation uh, then you're not consuming food necessarily you're consuming some form of substance it's it's different i don't know i'm not sure how to explain it i think that pretty much does it but i don't consider mcdonald's or burger king or all those chain huge conglomerate places where the food is frozen for months before it gets to you and all that jazz and you don't even know what's in it that's not food that's filler poison <laughs> it's poison really i don't want to eat the result of what capitalism did to me no no i feel you man i feel you riot one of the one of the propaganda documentaries but it, it was propaganda as well a huge part of it was earthlings that i watched uh, like two or three times oh my god <laughs> and, I, and i showed it to my little cousins and stuff like this many moons ago right uh just uh just because they were eating mcdonald's and stuff i wanted to sort of plant a seed saying hey not good that's why i'm for engineered food yeah i don't trust i think uh, uh, for me uh, riot this is the way i look at a situation and i decide if i should support support a certain way of being or a certain cause or something to a certain degree right i look at who's behind it right so the same people that basically created this centralized agriculture uh, meat uh, dairy industry right those are the same people who are pushing this engineered meat thing i don't trust them like pharmaceutical companies sure there are drugs that will save your life sure there are drugs that you need to take uh, pharmaceuticals that you need to take to be able to improve your life to be able to come back from injury and stuff like this right but those are specific things that you have to look at when it comes across the board when pharmaceutical companies come out and make general statements saying this is for the betterment of humanity this is betterment for your health this is this thing is fantastic this is a, i don't believe them not not for one second it's like when governments come out and tell us this thing happened this way I, my first reaction is I question every single word that came out of that centralized institution's mouth, right? So same on this level. Engineered meat is not in the hands of the mom and pop farmers. Engineered meat is in the hands of huge centralized institutions that have been the cause of the environmental disaster that we see unfolding, right? so when they come on and say hey this is the solution to the problem we've created i tend to say no thank you go away right i'm pretty sure there are better solutions out there and that's why oh, for engineer twitter you all need to need some donor cameras <laughs> donors man i love donors i used to eat a lot of donors Burgers. Iran uh, quadrupled rate of uh, enriched uranium. Yeah, I has. Who can blame them? I has. Here's the thing. Here's one stat that people really need to appreciate. Since the sanctions that kicked in, like I forget what it is. Obama brought in some sanctions, and 
uh, and then Trump brought in more sanctions and stuff like this. But basically, in the last five years or so, the rate of oil uh, that Iran is selling on the market has gone down by 75%. It's a quarter of what they used to produce or sell like five years ago. That has a huge economic uh, burden, puts a huge economic burden on the Iranian government, as well as the 80 plus million Iranians living in Iran right that's an act of war that kind of sanctions that those kinds of embargoes those kinds of punishments right they have done Iran as far as I see it they have done everything possible uh, from their end to meet the obligations that the Western world has put on them to be able to trade freely in the open market that hasn't worked right awesome bro just uh, Nicholas awesome bro just waiting until payday then your next comic funds shall be on the way <laughs> don't don't go broke man uh, going to just lurk and listen I have a lot of work to get done today awesome Nicholas I hope you enjoy the stream greetings greetings starsky how are you doing good morning chicho good morning intrepid are you generally against uh, centralization 100 percent against centralization uh, dante wait no they're not the same the meat industry is fighting synthetic meat i, I don't know uh, dante i don't believe it synthetic meat. who's making the synthetic meat it, is it the mom and pop farmer in your local community that's making synthetic meat i'm guessing no it's coming out of a lab who controls that lab who funds that lab is the government is if it's the government i still don't want it right who's fun funding synthetic meat there's a lot of capital behind it mask of raven how are you doing jackson dmt jackson welcome to another stream thoughts on uh, energy drinks I don't do coffee I wouldn't be drinking energy drinks energy drinks I find one of the most craziest things like when people tell me that they're against uh, they love prohibition they're against people using drugs and uh, cannabis is evil and all this jazz right I, this is what I mentioned to them I go walk into a gas station a service station a 7-eleven a local convenience store and in the front counter you'll find these little shots of drugs right they're called energy drink boosters or something like this that's drug on on an insane level right first of all it hasn't its effects are not tested throughout time we don't know what the human reaction to that is we don't the body reaction the mental reaction the emotional reaction the cause of you know the the speed that introduces in our society because it is speed drug right so i'm i'm 100 against these energy drinks i don't consume them I'm, i've known people who've been addicted to them and i'm like man I'm absolutely terrified of us going to war with Iran. Odmic, you're not alone. Me as well. It will be a game changer. And people, I don't think most people in the Western world really appreciate how large this is. It's going to happen. It's inevitable. I have so I have so many friends from Iran, and I'm scared for them and their families. And I know there's almost nothing I can do. Yeah, Odmic. The United States has been vying for a war. The United States, Saudi Arabia, and Israel, they've been trying to get the United States. Let me rephrase that. Saudi Arabia and Israel and certain elements in the United States have been pushing, have been trying to start a war between Iran and the United States for a number of decades now. I have wrote some articles on this back in mid-2000s, right? Because at that time, there was another push by the same or institutions by the same people same organizations that were in power then where obama refused to prosecute who are in power now that have been pushing for a war with iran we've been on hair trigger with a war with iran for 
a while now. It's very close. If it happens, bunker down. It's a game changer. If I was Iranian, uh, if I was living in the United States, I would be leaving the United States. If something like this happens, really, I don't think people really appreciate how large this is. They are startups. You can rent labs. Uh, Dante, who's funding the startups for these uh, genetic meats? Oh, Silicon Valley? I definitely don't trust Silicon Valley, right? Where is the money coming from? Iran is a beautiful country. Uh, America going to war against just puts the final land, the argument that the U.S. is an evil empire that enforces its will against other countries without impunity. Uh, I, I personally, maybe it's optimistic nature of me, I don't think the United States, those in power in the United States, the, those who can, it's hard to say, the United States is different factions right now vying for control, but I'm hoping, yeah, I know hope is a bad thing right now, uh, it, it has to go beyond hope, right? But my guess is there's enough sane people still in control or in key places in the United States where they know what will happen if they even attack one facility in Iran, like even one facility, right? If, if the United States does what it did to Syria, where it sent a whole bunch of obsolete missiles to blow up on an empty vacated airfield and call that our retaliation for uh, chemical attacks that actually were done by ISIS and if you know what I'm talking about even if something ridiculous as that occurs in Iran game changer it's over right um, if you're moderately rich you can find such a startup okay here, here's the thing Dante so even if you're moderately rich what is your intention with that startup are you trying to start a local family run synthetic uh, meat packaging facility within your community or is that supposedly the startup going to be going towards building a synthetic meat facility that's going to be centralized where they make all the synthetic meat in a factory that at some point will be farmed out to a place where it's more trade friendly there's less taxes and all that synthetic meat is going to be shipped somewhere else. like what's the end game of that synthetic meat I know personally for me Dante I know the end game of a local farm where I buy my vegetables where I buy my meats and stuff like this I know the end game of a local community run CSA is to stay local to fund things locally to keep the money local to support the local community for me the solution to our environmental problems is not more technology it's more localization okay it could implement the use of technology okay but doesn't necessarily have to i almost wish i could renounce my u.s citizenship it would help anything but i'm so disgusted to be part of a country so horribly engulfed in imperialism and evil i won't because it won't help anything and I doubt anyone is going to care a grad student renounce her citizenship out of moral outrage yeah I don't I don't know if renouncing citizenships is the best idea Admik. if everybody that cared leaves then the only people left are people who don't care about anything and they will be allowed to run amok 
policy is on maintaining the uh, under two degree threshold till 2050 seems almost an impossible task i think if carbon is not uh, sequestered in massive scale in a few years the ext uh, extremity extremities will take place um, jackson possibly but i don't believe in uh, carbon uh, sequestering i don't well sequestering i don't know uh, well let me rephrase that i don't believe in the carbon capture projects that they're trying to implement or creating little micros that eat carbon i i, I am 100 percent against those kinds of things um, but i think what's going to happen if if we don't give more power to the centralized institutions what will happen is um, people will come to the realization that centralization is the problem and they won't accept themselves to be taxed to be forced into buying from central institutions to be controlled from central institutions well i know most artificial meat is made of vegetables so what are they so for example um, what was the thing people were hailing um, palm oil as one of the fuels and stuff like this so there, there's been a lot of cases where uh, people jump onto the bandwagon of saying they're using vegetables to make oils or meats or whatever it might be or, or fuels so that's a better thing than hydrocarbons and whatnot right and then it comes out that to make that biofuel or whatever the bio thing is requires more energy than consuming the energy itself than using just raw energy itself and then there's lots of environmental degradation and land and foreign uh, foreign countries is taken over for people to grow vegetables and this to create fuel to create oils and stuff like this so it's a snowball effect right just because they're calling it vegetable not meat it doesn't mean it's necessarily using less energy not destructive to the environment and to indigenous people around the globe that's meat replacement it's different than synthetic meat oh well i'm a bit slow on the uptake sometimes sorry to take you off topic a little but what is your position on the flat earth versus uh globe debate i don't really participate to do in flat earth I, uh, people have brought it up to me and by the way uh tutor to tutor seven uh, the only people who've ever brought up uh the flat earth thing to me are people who are are reading facebook watching mainstream media right so the flat earth thing is never a discussion i've had with anyone uh that knows what's going on in the world uh understands our economic system uh the political system that uh, understands uh secret societies uh the deep state uh geopolitics trade anyone that really understands what's going on in the world never brings up flat earth and those people are the ones that are reading facebook watching cnn corporate mainstream news watching info wars and crap like that right so to me i don't really go into any deep discussion with them i just laugh at them and this is this is what i this is what i say to anyone that brings up the flat earth debate and this has come up before so i'll say it again it's really a matter of your perspective if you only look 10 meters ahead of you in your life then the earth is flat 50 meters earth is flat 100 meters earth is flat go a few kilometers earth has got a curvature to it okay pull out a few uh thousand kilometers earth earth has got a serious curvature to it and you have to take that into consideration pull up look at the earth from space earth is spherical right look around you spherical objects everywhere so it's really a matter of perspective if you have a this perspective on the world stage this is your life if you have a larger perspective on the world stage that is your life decide where you want to be just got here hello everyone hello martin how are you doing now nah, not silicon valley wish i could watch the stream at the gym but i think i would be fun to sleep and try and people were going what the hell's going on usa has imposed trade signs against india have they now because india it, yeah actually they have because india retaliated 
last couple of weeks to those sanctions as well right meanwhile india abides by u.s demands that they don't buy any oil from iran right and about to start a war in their backyard which india will not be pleased about right i'm only convinced that the sanders and warrens would stop a war against iran but still they're politicians and i'm not so sure i, I i'm not sure about the sanders or the warrens warren wouldn't warren is a warmonger right sanders he's done tippy this the only one i'm sure about in the democratic party uh, that will stop a war against iran is tulsi gabbard and um gravel Gra gravel mike gravel right those are the only two people that i know of in the democratic party the rest of them are are the status quo especially warren jesus uh, and sanders he proved himself uh, a lackey for the democratic party united states is a playground bully just like those world war one posters or germany's war on grand i pretty much agree martin nothing would change like your beard though thanks <laughs> how does it make you feel that the financial equity of the middle eastern parliament is in uh, confinement and that's a large convention okay i gotta read that again convention was established to delegate these funds to our ever-growing society i feel it is very left-wing thought process to think the politicians are committing political suicide and they deserve more funds what's your opinion on this? I, that's a complicated question i don't i don't even really know uh robert what you're referring to how does it make you feel that the financial equity of the middle eastern parliament what do you mean by middle eastern parliament is in confinement and that a large convention was established to delegate these funds to our so are you talking about investments coming in from the middle east spe specifically saudi arabia and uae and stuff like this buying certain assets such as uber and buying the parking lot spaces in chicago or illinois certain cities where people that are putting money into parking meters or in a city are actually giving money to a fund that is run with uh money uh that is controlled by saudi or in the prophecy you tell me what do you do you think that sounds reasonable you're a rich guy in some rich country did it uh, i agree yes uh chatting um well according to my standing within my country because you have to go within uh, solutions simple so uh, according to my peers around here i'm not a rich right but i do live in a rich country and relative to the rest of the world population i'm probably in the top five percentile all right and that includes everyone 99 percent of the people that live in this area are in the top five percentile yes 100 percent. but if you take it more localized within my region i don't live rich i'm not a rich person uh, not by a long shot right i don't own property or anything like i give rent right uh but in your in your statement even we in certain parts of the world because we are human beings we have solutions that we can implement in our own region right uh, i remember someone uh, t uh, telling chomsky that he shouldn't talk politics because that was his that wasn't his expertise and asking chomsky why it was he thought he was an authority on politics and his reply was he was not an authority and the reason he was talking about politics economics is because he's a human being and he has an interest in this life right i don't know uh so class wealth doesn't uh doesn't uh say anything about uh your ability to be able to speak regarding a certain topic maybe may you be very poor may you be very rich or somewhere in the middle right i don't know what's going to happen to it but since we live under capitalism any company will want to make profit and expand yeah i don't think the expanding part i don't think every company will want to expand uh, there are people that don't want to expand it's not like small companies don't want to grow they mostly just can't agreed and some places uh, some people don't want to grow up because they don't want to reach that level right 
and what happens is if if their demand is there and the right offer comes in or usually comes in they sell it to a more centralized company of course the bigger company gets the less oversight there is another feature of capitalism greetings dr p greetings even if the earth was flat so what how on earth would it impact our lives the schools and documentary would lie to us why is carbon requestering uh, requestration bad that's one of the main catalysts that can be limiting factor in the proliferation of carbon uh, afforestation and soil carbon capture substitution in uh, in fodder to meet uh, industry for methane reduction and all that, that, that. the problem uh, the empty jackson the problem with it is again it's coming from a centralized uh, centralized powers that are trying to implement this so they're the only ones that can really implement this the main problem is they're conducting open experiments globally, right? They're saying they want to release bacteria that eats carbon. Forests need carbon. Their carbon, our, our environment needs carbon, right? So just imagine if they release a bacteria that eats carbon and grows exponentially and they can't control it, right? That's the main reason. The science... Uh, the science is not absolute right these scientists in charge of doing all of this because they work for centralized institutions that the main driving force behind what it is that they're doing and why it is that they're doing it is profits monetary profits right worth on paper so if they're going into it with that intention that's going to run amok we've seen that happen throughout history so i don't think uh, giving more power to centralized institutions to, to uh, carbon capture and do tax us and all this jazz is the solution to our environmental problems not by a long shot that is the problem and for what reason how do you how do they benefit lying to us who benefits from that lie it doesn't impact you at all all this flat earth stuff dante there's no arguing with flat earthers they say everything photo of earth from space is da, 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 da. i'm going to skip over the flat earth stuff it just doesn't interest me at all and it's it's a non-argument it's just a trolling factor right it has to make a shape it doesn't impact uh there's all of us, uh, yeah no pa, 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 pa. okay i'm scrolling down a little bit if there's anything I'm, I'm gonna go back to the bottom of the, the chat if there's anything serious that I missed uh, that you want me to address please let me know and I will um, it's just there's discussion about flat earth and stuff which is a non-discussion I'm not here to talk uh, Facebook chat <laughs> <It's> like what uh, it does have DMT in his name it does okay there's DMT other people change their habits or that's what we have to do yeah people need to change their habits that's the biggest change we can do consumption and holding centralized power and corporations accountable that's huge uh, Robert no worries I will uh, simplify in this society okay so back to this again Robert so let's see how that thing is in this society it I very in this society it is very easy to disagree with elections and over initiate large debates and concur with the huge political boundaries as we are always growing the systematic prof systematic profit of our elders is also achieving and establishing and campa uh, campaigning for democracy as we seek political asylum where will your vote be going to non-centralized representatives okay so what robert is saying here is this he's basically talking about differential accumulation something we talked about with jonathan nitz and stuff like this where basically power those who have been in the system the longest and those are usually either governments or corporations because in the or families dynasties right so and secret societies and stuff like this right 
So basically a centralized institution that has a lot of followers or a lot of believers or a lot of backers stays in the game longer than human beings. Because of differential accumulation, the rate of growth where everything is chasing growth, because they have been here longer, uh, compound interest kicks in and in the limit, they control everything while we control nothing. Human beings control nothing, right? And because they control everything, they can dictate uh, economic and political ways of being. May they be domestic politics or geopolitics. So the question is this, knowing this, knowing that we are up against the Goliath or Goliaths, okay multiple institutions multiple factions that have been around for hundreds of years possibly okay that have accumulated land capital control the banking system the food supply the military industrial complex and stuff like this how do we take power away from them and make sure citizens of nations people who live in certain regions control their own destiny great question robert for me decentralization shop locally consume locally support your local community but be globally aware for me it's having open discussions like this getting points of view from all over the place that way the news coming to you and your perspective on the world is not centralized because that centralized perspective is a flawed perspective of the world may it be through your understanding of what's going on in the world based on what the government says what corporate propagandists say i think the way out of this trap that we are in okay is to stay in touch make sure censorship doesn't kick in and you have an empathy and an open mind as to what's really going on in the world and you did you don't get caught up in rhetoric and spend your money locally as as locally as you can especially in regards to food uh, education uh, activities travel vacation chinese government warning is for students to be wary of uh, interrogation in american universities yeah many of the environment solutions lack predictive ability to weigh out the impacts those cures will have 100% agree fluid you said that way better than I did I think that any realistic option would also include details on how exactly it will impact other things beyond its target that is what we lack most these days fluid fantastic that that is what I was trying to say the problem is with the, the carbon uh, captures and the synthetic meats and all this jazz right you can't put your faith that these experiments are not gonna have serious consequences look at the f giant frogs that they took from africa introduced into australia that are eating everything and anything in sight right that's an experiment gone wrong right either way car carbon separate uh, se sequestration is not really viable for now and we shouldn't rely on it to be uh become so before we do anything about climate change i'm good thanks same with other uh, technological advancements with energy efficiency renewable by the time they arrive the ecosystem will be devastated my vote is for sanders but the news and media are uh are captured in the US the people running our news and media now don't want to see the status quo change no they don't riot right I mean Biden <laughs> really what if Boris Johnson becomes Prime Minister of UK I'm immigrating to Australia Australia has some serious problems brother Martin I'm telling you Australia has got serious problems uh, our time to take action on this issue are limited and the evidence is widespread greenland ice caps for example 40 degree uh record highs canadian permafrost 70 year uh year early melting this issue is widely uh, talked about but there are not uh, no uh, n not answers on the, no answers on the table we need to look at why they are not there 
and who is stopping them from being there i agree fluid 100 percent first time catching a non-mastering always watch the uploads on youtube nice to finally be here live god day have you jacob <laughs> this is a little different than the math dreams eh? robert i agree but you have to take into account this is regarding the centralization and the differential combination uh, but you have to take into account that the republic's spin doctor has put aside his regime as well as all uh, stand outside on polling oops polling day hopefully th this monarchy law that has been established can become an incumbent and ye tear tear the grassroots out of our racist germandering society dude you're saying some serious stuff you don't legalize cannabis <laughs> <laughs> now I know that face. Hey Chicho, Rec, how are you doing? Hey Chicho, just tune in so I don't uh, know if you've talked about it already. But what is your take on the current tension between U.S. and Iran? We talked out about it a little bit. People here in Germany are laughing about the obvious shit that U.S. is trying to pull. One hundred percent. That's the same here as well in Canada. Oil tankers incident and blaming Iran without showing evidence. Now the drone incident. But the media here is still painting the Iran as the bad guys. It's kind of surreal, very surreal. I agree. The intensity is a world quickness. Yeah, there is a quickening as well as I agree with you. Um, rank, uh, they want war. The U.S. economy, the war machine needs war to keep on going. Uh, that's one of the reasons it's important to divest from the current centralized economic system as much as we can right uh, so it's tough man like the game what you have what people have to consider is the game will change if a war with iran has starts right there's a reason why cryptos are doing a major uptick right there's a reason why gold is doing a little uptick but gold is cryptos is more the hedge now i guess against this type of chaos to a certain degree but even that can do a huge tumble down too right so um i, I don't think uh, people need to hold the mainstream media accountable people need to stop uh, getting their news from facebook and garbage places like that especially in the next year or so when they roll out the centralized currency man i'm pretty sure uh, i'm gonna have people come to me and say oh they got facebook coins or whatever the crap they're called and i'm gonna look at them and tell them they're idiots right so i'm pretty sure i might lose some friends over the years when they start trying to transfer over facebook money to me uh so we have to stay away from that crap i don't know i just want to get that off my chest my error question my apologies i didn't mean to draw you into the bottomless pit that is the off oh, not flat earth i just wanted to get your take on it which you gave on another subject what would be your top three tips for people trying to become less centralized I i've already mentioned that uh consume local food that's huge 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 stop buying crap from amazon uh, and all that jazz if you can i know in my part it's becoming more and more difficult right so stop consuming from box chain stores don't go to walmarts and crap like that don't eat uh, you know fast food and stuff like this try to conduct business with cash instead of going through interact or visa or mastercard or or digital currencies even or and whatnot right so the main solution forget about the top three the main solution is localization start using your local community and what's available locally to you if you're gonna if you like fruits and vegetables eat lots of fruits and vegetables uh in season that grow in your area right um you know all that jazz okay let me go down a little bit uh 
Cognitive and socialism. The media reports that Iran shooting down a drone that was surveilling them is escalating tensions, yet has has nothing to say about whether or not the U.S. running surveillance drones missions near Iran um, escalate is actually one of the things that I do. You can do a comparison to is this: consider Iran a corporation. Consider the United States a corporation. Iran has patents, right? Copyrights that you could consider to be its airspace. If anyone infringes on any corporation's patents or copyrights, and if those corporations don't follow through, try to enforce their patents and copyrights, they lose the right over their patents and copyrights. Okay, so this corporation is infringing on Iran's copyrights, patents, their airspace, their territory. If they don't protect those patents those copyrights the way they are right now that airspace then they will be violated again and again and again and slowly they will lose control over their copyrights patents airspace territory they had no choice okay some people say it was a mistake and it was really but um, People really have to appreciate what's going on a country that has their economy has been destroyed because they're down to selling a quarter of their main resource that they could because of sanctions while food medicine and all that jazz is becoming more and more scarce more and more expensive to acquire in that country the people representing the system representing you know the majority of the people in that country has to act they have to do something to that's the way they feel anyway right nature has uh, seaweeds and shellfish we sequester are five times more carbon than land-based plants you provide a seaweed diet to cows uh, you get a 90% uh, percent reduction in methane output methane so okay you're gonna grab that seaweed Jackson where are you gonna get that seaweed from are they gonna be harvesting it from the ocean so there goes the food product of the animals are they gonna be growing all the seaweed uh, where are they gonna get that seaweed from are we gonna be bottom trolling the ocean for that seaweed which is uh, Many private companies are launching Darwinian drawdown, which is bringing CO2 levels back down through uh, photosynthesis, by which carbon is extracted from the air and put in back into the earth. This is one way, and another stopping greenhouse gases enter. Jackson, I don't, I don't believe that's the solution. Information must come from reliable sources, otherwise it's hearsay. All information is hearsay it's all perspective what exactly is the difference between local stores and bigger stores like Walmart um, local stores they the money stays first of all there's shipping expenses right with Walmart and all that jazz that stuff is being made in regions of the world where there are less environmental protection laws so they're devastating the environment in those regions right so that's happening there's shipping expenses coming in majority of money is going to the walmart family and their investors and those people are have basically uh are some of the people that are in are passing laws they basically hijack governments right regulatory capture that's what it's called right where they pay lobbyists and lobbyists lobby politicians and stuff like this and they pass laws that are in favor of these gigantic corporations where they pay less taxes and have less environmental regulations put on them and they're able to control 
uh, benefits for their employees, making them, uh, preventing them from becoming unionized, and all this jazz. There's a whole repercussion there, right? So, long story short, it's this centralization. So, to answer your question, what exactly is the difference between local stores and bigger stores like Walmart? When you're shopping at local store, local stores, this local store may be friends with the people that run this local store because they're in the same local community but the money is going to two different parties right and they have different interests so all of, all of that money all of that power that you're giving your local communities majority of it is not used to pass laws to suppress your rights when you're giving money to walmart and stuff like this that's centralization of power and that money is going to centralized institution centralized dynasty in this case where they are lobbying governments right and they're getting laws passed in favor of them right to benefit them may it be laws associated with investments laws associated with what they can do in the markets laws associated with how they can treat the environment and all that jazz right that's the main problem and then you got all the environmental repercussions of it really this is sort of a it, it's a huge question but that's the general gist of it right so when people say oh just give me one example the one example is centralization of power do you believe in the centralization of power if you do go ahead shop at walmart and mcdonald's eat at mcdonald's and do whatever you want right but i can honestly tell you some of the major problems associated with our society is because of centralization of power okay that is the root cause of it including education it's something we're going to talk about tomorrow right psychological inclination and a perception built on uh, pretentious comprehension with the petrodollar falls will the petrodollar fall dr p will the petrodollar fall a lot of people say uh, what backs the US dollar power might military might specifically backs the US dollar we've seen over the last few uh, decades what's happened to countries that have tried to conduct business outside of the US dollar Libya Venezuela North Korea Iran Cuba right Syria yes but everything's relevant at least da, 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 at least at the moment it's hard to hear large companies have more political influence and thus pay less in taxes and are less accountable uh, accountable for what they do yeah you can grow it like plants yeah and just to give you an example in Vancouver Canada they're introducing a new type of tax where you're not paying tax on the property you own but the potential of the property so if you own land you've been there let's say for 20 30 years where you have this mom and pop shop and you were paying a certain type of taxes your taxes are changing now where they're going to tax you on the potential square footage that you could have built on that land so there goes your small business right the nazi manifesto looked pretty good in 1929 meaning the future is the past uh, precursor you are also paying more at local stores education would be the foundation education would be the foundation and that's why i'm doing what i do right education is the core one of the core issues we have to tackle right and sometimes dante sometimes you don't pay more at local stores sometimes certain things are less in season in harvest season local community uh, when certain fruits and vegetables are coming on the market it's so much cheaper buying it locally than it is buying it from outside places right would a war with iran be an energy war as defined by nitsan and uh, bishler I think so and when they 
uh, spell out differential accumulation. The theory predicts energy wars break break out when the petro core is behind the S&P in terms of differential accumulation. Is that the case right now? I haven't seen any work from them on this recently. I haven't seen any work from them recently as well. I haven't uh, since I've been following a lot of stuff. I understand the core thesis of uh, Jonathan Nitzan and uh, Bachelor's work with differential accumulation, but uh, Treeman, this is the case. Oil was trading really low for the last few years, right? Saudi Arabia needed oil to be like eighty dollars a barrel. Russia needs it to be like 40 45 Venezuela needs it to be higher Iran has been not able to uh, sell as much oil the United States needs the United States and Canada need oil to be way higher right uh, so this is part of the energy war as well there are other factors in play I believe uh, but that has, is a huge part of it America's dirty celebrity influence is much <laughs> did you see the almost military strike Trump conducted last night yeah hobo oh, I I saw it this morning it was I've been up since four o'clock following this crap uh, right is it true that that happened first of all we have to question did that really happen were the planes in the air okay or is that just power play where they're trying to say oh I almost came to get you now it's a good thing I changed my mind you're a lucky person right so it might not happen it might have been if it happened maybe bolton gave the word right because he he's one of the main people and his backers that won a war with iran right so if bolton gave the word for just like dick cheney right uh, because a lot of people are saying president bolton now it's not president trump really right bolton gave the word saying go get him right and when trump found out he called up said whoa pull back you psychopaths and hopefully bolton is in if he did he's in cuffs right now being taken down dungeons somewhere with his lackeys behind them to be done with right or is it grandstanding right if trump actually gave the go-ahead to do this it's coming right because he's that dumb okay is he a dumb person i don't know but i know he's not calling the shots right he might be able to prevent them but he's not in charge of the machine he might be able to sabotage it if he has half a brain but uh i don't count i'm, I'm not counting on it may head out here shortly just want to say I've really enjoyed the conversation I'll have to catch the replay on YouTube got to go uh, study for an exam enjoy your uh, uh, good luck in your exam uh, uh, twitching twitching ja uh, uh, Jason uh, by the way I, I still don't know if I'm gonna load this one on YouTube I really don't know until I rewatch them in double triple speed sometimes these political streams I sit there not sometimes all the time I sit there and watch them in triple speed, uh, double or triple speed, uh, and then I decide if I'm going to load it on YouTube or not. Okay, they will be loaded on BitChute, all of them, almost all of them, unless we have technical difficulties or something went wrong. Okay, uh, so they'll be there on BitChute, and I'll decide later if I'm going to load it on YouTube. How are you all? Good morning. From Texas. Hello, Texas. How are you doing, Top Fiver? welcome welcome hollywood ancient druids made wands from holy wood haha <laughs> hollywood what do you make of clinton drinking the blood <laughs> he posted this on discord i think uh, i think there are more important things to consider than the occult uh is uh, the clintons are evil so are the boltons and the cheneys and the and all those people right how much to shave your beard no <laughs> a top five is like what come on bro i like that face come on bro yeah but most things are most expensive at small stores and that's the reason people don't shop there uh dante regarding electronics i agree 
electronics uh, agreed eggs for example i bought at a local farm we we're able to pick up 30 eggs organically locally uh, raised chickens local eggs that were like laid like two days ago 30 eggs for 850 canadian which is like 650 us right that's cheaper that's a staple diet food there are a lot of those things around in your local community if you can find it electronics yes electronics you have no choice but to look by globally right apparently it's documented on wikileaks <laughs> <laughs> WikiLeaks, possibly, sure. I, I'm the IS, by the way, I'm not dismissing that these are called string the blood of whoever, right? But it's not my thing to, uh, I, I don't want to have a conversation on that. Oh, I'm going to allow that, uh, Odd Nick. Yeah, I agree with you, Odd Nick, regarding Comcast. <laughs> it would have all been chest thumping still a scary thought yeah scary thought indeed if nobody can corroborate that planes and ships were moving it probably didn't happen do you have family friends in iran uh extended i haven't seen them talk to them for four decades so i'm canadian my whole immediate most all of almost extended families here right or the united states but i don't have to have family there to care about what's happening there right uh, we're human beings i cared about the destruction of libya yemen syria war in afghanistan the first time i attended a anti-war rally right was the first gulf war in the early 2000s when i was a university so i'm in general against any war right i'm with the uh, howard zinn when he said there's never a need for war there's only need for insurrection oh my god he actually believes it <laughs> nobody can grab it. which one is this <sighs> the wiki links <laughs> stuff not the electronics textiles appliances yeah electronics textiles appliances are you kidding me can i buy com can i buy comcast or do you want them advertising here i don't know what's uh top fiver what's a comcast are they advertising on us i don't get it is that the case is that what twitch is doing yeah sure ban them <laughs> for sure I didn't realize we're getting like Comcast in uh, advertisements or something. Uh, Comcast in 2019. Whether the Iran strike situation last night happened, like Trump says, Maggie um, Haberman said one of her White House sources gave her the same account before the Trump tweet. I don't believe anything that comes out of the White House or any of their representatives. Really, the only people I believe are people who have foot on the ground, who know what's going on, or people that have trusted for many years, decades, with their sources of information, right? And those are just a handful of people. And I don't take their word for it um, 100%. That's some. Um, desperate advertising i'm shocked <laughs> missed that one. the clinton blood drinking guy i look like an average it looked like an average i i banned it okay cool cool did you ban is i hope you didn't ban is no no there was a complex comcast oh there's comcast infinity okay cool thanks dante thanks for taking care of that i missed it Ayaz is legit he's he's legit here so he's he's good man uh he's good for sure it was i hope that every major person in power drinks the blood of children life could be a uh life could be a real life anime if we're ruled by a vampire cult. <laughs> i 
for your judgment day is coming. I've got my beans in just in case. Okay, cool. There's some truth to it. Rich people are infusing themselves with the blood of young people in order to live longer. It doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. Or having blood put on their faces because man people do the craziest things for the sake of immortality ridiculous or longevity i don't trust any of the people in the white house either generally but if this is a lie it seems like one they've all decided to uh, coordinate which is a tree man which they did the iraq war it was a lie that they all decided to coordinate they even got colin powell to go to the un and hold up his props to start one of the most destructive wars in history right like the guy who's, who's come out and said that was the most shameful moment of his life they even got him to do that right not that i believe that he would have to be coarse too much he was a warmonger as well right look into what uh uh the mylan uh in vietnam uh the mylan massacre um i forget the reporter's name that released their information and he wrote some stuff about colin powell colin powell was involved in that in that where the vietnamese the sol the soldiers went into vietnam and just killed a uh, village full of people colin powell was part of that as well right look into the history of colin powell colin powell's evil sob right but he's even ashamed of what he did come out and said it right so they were able to get their story all together and say the same crap right? uh, honestly i hope the world doesn't end until i'm done with my phd putting way too much effort for the world on <laughs> make awesome. but look when you're done your phd thesis when it's available online even the abstract please link it for us we'd love to see to read what you've worked on right have you guys checked out the documentary ice and fire on hbo directed and produced by uh leo dicaprio leonardo dicaprio is that leonardo dicaprio and new technologies related to the carbon emissions no i haven't seen it no I just George myself on uh, make gorge myself on McDonald's French fries in the hopes that the preservatives work on lifespan as well as food freshness. Oh, the McDonald's it's not even potatoes, is it? It's like fifty percent potatoes and twenty percent sawdust, like <laughs> something like that. My grandfather was a lifelong alcoholic and lived to be age 86 i think the booze pickled him inside possibly on um, uh, possibly he was supposed to live to be 140 and he was only he was only able to live to 86 that's a possibility as well right if the world ends i'll be yelling hail hydra i don't know what i'll yell at the end so fries would probably work hello my friend Hello, Nas. How are you doing? Pocahontas. I'm going to try to. Puhakanas. Puhakanas. From Linden. Puhakanas. How are you doing? Welcome to live stream coming to you from the west coast of Canada on a Friday morning. I think it's Friday. Is it Friday? On a Friday morning. I'm losing track because my students are finishing you whisper it in a like-minded visual well powell was the only person in that group that was against the war in the cabinet they threw out tons of evidence that went against the idea that iran had nukes he should have instead of going to the un and presenting the props to justify this war he should have quit that would have been the defining moment in his life and the UN was still doing their review on the ground really just imagine the solid ground that Powell could have been on right 
when they said you go in front of UN and present this evidence he came out and gave a he, he would come out and give a press conference saying I am resigning because I do not believe Iraq has weapons of mass destruction and I do not agree with the United States invading Iraq he might have been assassinated but he would have lived in history uh, as the good guy not the bad guy first of all my English is bad sorry that no worries puha kanas puha kanas I had to drop out of my master's program because it was I got diagnosed with hyper thyroidism super late into the program and I couldn't work on my thesis oh no hobo are you eating the french fries hobo stop eating McDonald's french fries maybe it'll help you out I love Canada me too we're almost same we like snow and ice hockey yeah you know what I like snow I don't watch ice hockey I stopped watching professional sports for the most part too centralized for me true he shouldn't quit he should have quit he should have quit he didn't quit I'm sorry he's the bad guy we're better at hockey stop it <laughs> sorry what are you whispering I don't know the fries were all that kept me sane yeah maybe this is meant to be ASMR it isn't really though no it's not really though it's supposed to be ASMR I try I try I gotta get the one thing I have to do for ASMR I gotta get a better mic system okay where the hissing sound in the background is not as much and I have to get a better computer for live streaming this one is because it's a laptop I want it to be mobile. <laughs> it's the fan goes off pretty high so in the background you can hear the fan going off right so I need a better system more quiet to be full ASMR We'll work on it. We will 100%. I have some stuff I want to do live ASMR, but I need because I want to record it, but I don't want the humming to be there. And I want to be able to do it full on live ASMR, but I need a better setup. Canada, first country to win NBA final with AI as a starting player. Yeah, you may have mentioned this already, but do you have any views on? Uh, any views as to why they want to to uh, to destabilize Syria Iraq Iran Afghanistan now Iran what is the master plan is it political or economic <coughs> it's both uh, Twitter political and economic because they're together it's inverted totalitarianism right so economics is trumping politics economics drives everything but there is a certain political ideology in the background going as well right the some of the main reasons uh the petrodollar uh, alternate currencies reserve currencies then uh, doing trade then the u.s dollar pipelines resources uh introducing new centralized currencies in libya gold bait gold based back currency in afghanistan there was a unical pipeline whoever quote Brzezinski's whoever controls Eurasia controls the world right taking a CEO of Unical putting him in charge of Afghanistan there's so much there's so much but the plan has been there from the beginning too um, what was the name of that general that came out with the video saying they came out with the plans to attack seven countries five countries in the next seven years well it's taken a little bit longer because thanks to WikiLeaks and whistleblowers and news coming out and the internet being open and unfiltered up to this point or back then anyway right I'm not sure if absolute power corrupts absolutely as much as absolute power allows regular people to show how evil they really are Colin Powell revealed what kind of person he really was agreed odd Mac he did I think I found you through your beard combing videos <laughs> I haven't done a beard video for a while I've been I've been dying to go back to a full beard again uh, but I'm loving the goatee look right I, I'm loving 
I love it. I love this, right? So at some point we will. I want to do the handlebars, take this off, make some videos with the handlebars, and then do a mustache, and then go back full beard again. I love the hissing sound of Ragnar. Oh, you love it, Hobo. I'm a white noise uh, lover because I also have low level uh, tinnitus. Oh, really? Okay. Canadian, Finland talk. What? It's hockey. <laughs> it's hockey for some. There's been times in Canada, there was one time I almost got into a fight with people in a bar. It was a restaurant where. Uh, the NHL was playing and stuff like this and uh, it was during the cup during the championships and people were watching hockey and I was supposed to meet some friends so I came and sat down and I sat down in the corner where the TV was over there I just wanted to sit somewhere where I couldn't see the TV the hockey so I found one place in the restaurant where I couldn't see any televisions hockey playing so I sat there and there was a bunch of people sitting and watching cheering and stuff like this and I was just doing my thing and you know taking notes eating drinking waiting for my friends to show up and they're like what's the matter you don't like hockey <laughs> and i'm pretty i was and i turned to them and said no and they're like what what do you mean you don't like hockey and th three or four of the guys sitting there that was sort of tough looking guys they turned their chairs towards me what do you mean you don't like hockey <laughs> i'm like jesus <laughs> lucky for me like couple of minutes later a few few seconds later my friends walked through the door it was a couple so they came and sat down and we talked and those guys chilled down and changed their seats towards the tv <laughs> unrelated but anyone watching the women's world cup i know it's going on i haven't been watching it i think some people might be i think it's very like the u.s wins which is terrible for the sport but that's how it goes. Is it terrible for the sport, Otmik? I don't know. The U.S. women's uh, soccer team, I think, is really good. I watched them play before. Uh, I don't know who else is on that level on a world stage. I think Germany is pretty good too. Uh, I don't know about Brazil, uh, but I don't. I don't know if it's terrible if the U.S. wins. Why would it be terrible, uh, Otmik? War as hell. But you Canadians are brave. <laughs> the ASMR beard with coconut oil is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> I'm sitting with comic books in the background in the living room. <laughs> goatees are cool. I like goatees. Nice. We have only six million. Six million people. Canada, we're like 33 million. You guys kick ass with six million people here like one of the top hockey players in the world hockey teams in the world i believe the general's name was wesley clark that's right regarding that memo for attacking seven countries yeah wesley clark so you can do if you do a wesley clark uh seven countries war video you'll find that video where he's being interviewed with amy by amy goodman uh, goodman in democracy now on a panel uh, on the stage and he mentions that they had planned on attacking Iran a while ago. Who not like hockey? Your voice is smooth. You kick ass right away. You're old too. England will make finals. I think I need to. Thoughts on cigarettes versus e-cigarettes. Uh, cigarettes, evil. Cigarettes are horrendous right uh, so I, I don't like cigarettes the e-cigarettes um, I think they're gonna have some serious damaging effects in the future it's gonna come out but uh, it, I wouldn't do e either of them some people say e-cigarettes are way less destructive than cigarettes possibly I think cigars are probably less than cigarettes. Just don't inhale. Uh, I don't know. I don't like either. I hate them both, actually. Uh, the e-cigarettes are ridiculous as far as I'm concerned. It's pure chemical you're taking in. Cigarettes is chemical, tobacco, and heat. By the way, how do you think the Syrian civil war were in? It wasn't a civil war, Dante. It 
was in a civil war. It was a proxy war with Israel, Saudi Arabia, the United States, UK, and some other Western countries backing, supporting Al Qaeda, ISIS, the fanatic Islamists, right? The Wahhabists to overthrow the Syrian government. And the main reason for that was multifold, really, to weaken Iran to prevent the pipelines from being built, to give the opportunity for Israel to annex, to control more territory, one of them being the Golan Heights with, with Trump gifting it to Israel, right? Israel was not a civil war. That's uh, uh, wrong. Who would win between a vampire and a werewolf? Uh, watched I has watched the series uh, Underworld, the sort of a, I think they got four movies out now, uh, and it's a war between vampires and werewolves, and it's a science fiction and fantasy B uh, series of movies, but they're fun to watch, and it's all about vampires and werewolves fighting each other, and breeding and creating a new species. yeah the u.s is really fantastic i think it's bad for the sport because the u.s is so incredibly dominant and maybe people would take women's football more seriously if there was more uh, viability it's the same three to four teams that always win yeah the world cup too in large part but there is it's it's becoming more balanced now what's that taste this is uh rhubarb rhubarb muffin top <laughs> i pulled off the top and i'm eating the top this is like people say hey you ate the top i ate the top i'm eating the top it's delicious Any 420 related ASMR math videos in the works? Retro? A lot of my videos are already 420 related ASMR. <laughs> it's just not discussed. So, yeah, a lot of them are. <laughs> not a lot are coming. Is ISIS the old Al Qaeda? more fanatic it's past april bro 420 april 20th next year we'll do but full on uh 420 will be april 20th 2020 of course right what is your opinion that finland is best country if you love it if you think it's the best for you that's what it is i watched the is it finnish the 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 i linked it in this course there was uh was it norwegian i think it was finnish it might have been finnish it was a metal documentary i uh, not documentary metal movie that just came out like last couple of years last few years it might have been like two three years metal heavy me not heavy metal something metal heavy steel i forget what it's called it's so good so funny well regardless of what you call it it's both a civil war and a proxy war those are not mutually exclusive what do you think will be the end result uh the end result the saddam um uh, <laughs> the assad government is going to get control back from syria uh turkey is desperately trying to maintain control of certain parts but i think they're going to pull back a little bit uh, the biggie thing here is israel was gifted the golan heights by the united states right and uh, that's a big no-no so that will have to resolve itself but that's not over yet dante i think it's going to continue for instance how far do you think turkey would go in protecting the 
if the pocket they won't they're already pulling back on what do you think will become of the northeastern region i think uh syria will get back the territory it had uh, there might be little skirmishes little buffer zones and stuff like this uh, they're trying to weaken iran now by weakening iran they're weakening syria right so it's all a question of how the iran thing plays out uh, dante it, it's not over yet this is in flux so we'll see where it goes if russia and china step in and say no more enough is enough then you're going to see the little players pull back you're going to see turkey pull back a little bit you're going to see saudi arabia behave it's going to become it's going to it's going to be put under the leash right under the whip it's going to be put under in zoomus what are you saying Chicho, you ever gonna make any videos talking about shows and anime? Yeah, I have some lined up, Bod Nick. I recently watched Planets just because of this chat. It was fantastic. Awesome. You like Planets, eh? <laughs> nice. Nice. That's a great series. What a fun series. And deals, it has politics, economics, as well as technology uh, into the immediate future, not huge distant future. Which is one of the hardest things type of sci-fi to tell right i'm glad you liked it Admec. uh for sure we will be i do have some some lined up uh i almost shot one but then the julian assange stuff was happening and just things started kicking into high gear so it started consuming a lot of my time and then we got to the end of the school year and i was really busy so i'm giving excuses by the way right now right why i haven't put it together yet uh we'll see what i can get done this summer Admic, by the way, if you haven't seen anything come up by the end of the summer, by end of August, send me a reminder and just say, Chicho, put out those videos and I'll get them done ASAP. Okay? Promise. That I promise. Metal in Finland. Cool. I remember watching some of your videos in YouTube about geophysics. I'm happy and fine. Ah, nice to have you. And Zumos said, <laughs> He's dead, in my opinion. Yeah, he is. Turkey just reinforced their observation points a few days ago. Maybe coinciding with what's going on with Iran, right? Because at the first chance Turkey gets, it will backstab Iran and Russia, it will side with the United States. Uh, it's not pleased about siding with Saudi Arabia, but it will abide. You need the F-35 fighters. And is that 35 billion? <laughs> so much money. <laughs> the F-35 fighters are just garbage. A waste of money. Planets. Started watching for the sci-fi. Stay for the classic inequality commentary. Yeah. I'll hold on to that. Yeah, for sure, Odnick. Uh, if I promise, I do. Okay. I'll check it out. I just finished rewatching uh, Psychopath. Psychopath. I don't know that one. Is Turkey bird? Turkey the country, but Turkey is a bird too, and it's very delicious if you cook the right way. <laughs> what do you think about this for organic? ethnically raised and a happy turkey before it finds itself into your tummy what do you think about going into trades instead of higher education i'm starting my apprenticeship in august uh you know what depends on the trade but um the trades for sure are a good place to be just make sure um, you're not doing the trades that um, are very cyclical to a certain degree uh, depends on the trades but trades are good good to have because once you learn a certain trade you can expand beyond that trade there are drawbacks to trades the environment sometimes you need you have to work in the the companies sometimes you have to work in the corporations you work for and stuff like this uh, but there are huge benefits uh, to going with trades uh, 
whatever basically you're interested in it doesn't have to be as you know i'm not uh, i'm not one of those people that says higher education is the only road it's not uh, but higher education is a good road if you can do it properly it's like higher education in what right if you're going to go get higher education in mathematics you're set you can do whatever you want higher education in Austrian engineering go go on go anything you want uh, computer science go on uh, physics maybe right higher education in english literature i don't know i don't think the job market is that vast as higher education in mathematics right why do you think turkey will side with the u.s they're not getting along exactly i think it's a uh, they might not be getting along but turkey has been in the back pocket of the united states forever right for a long time uh u.s still doesn't recognize the armenian genocide the reason for that is because turkey is in nato and u.s is one of greatest allies uh, and turkey knows this and the u.s know this and russia is not stupid russia knows this and iran's not stupid iran knows this and syria is not stupid syrians know this right so everyone's very cautious on turkey okay i don't think turkey will backstab the u.s when the final uh blow comes right oh man my apologies chicho i thought you were from the usa no i'm from uh, canada and no apologies necessary it's manga three short movies about three criminals with skills oh that's the thing oh it's manga what's it called again psychopaths cool i haven't read manga for a while i need to read myself some manga also make sure your trade is not going to get automated yeah huge thank you dante for that make sure your trade is not going to get automated there are certain things that are going to get automated many things that are going to get automated i return to the to do comp sci cool the field is hvac oh hvac that's the uh, helivac isn't it no it's not helivac is it so i don't think it will iran is now u.s aggress aggression hey chicho what are your thoughts facebook's libra coin and how it will affect the crypto space i uh, i think it's i hope it never happens i hope people don't start trading it i mentioned this er earlier mercenary if i have any friends that want to transfer me libra coin ever if they're on it because i have people that are on facebook i would tell them to go get lost send me a different type of currency than libra coin do not participate in the libra coin first of all your data is not secure second of all you're giving even more data not only to facebook and its cronies you're also giving your data to centralized uh, centralized power that will monitor everything you do financially okay it is it is it is the opposite end of what cryptocurrencies were meant to be because it is not a cryptocurrency it is complete 100 percent surveilled financial system okay uh, don't even do it you're enriching zucker zuckerberg and his cronies you're centralizing more power do not participate in it how it will affect the rest of the crypto space it's already given the boost uh it's it's gonna take uh, if people start using it the way they have in china then it's going to take money away from the rest of all coins so you're going to see a divergence between bitcoin and top five let's say cryptos and the rest of the alt coins they're going to go extinct in my opinion because funds will be diverted to libra and all these centralized digital currencies which aren't cryptos right and people won't know the difference uh, and that's where 
cryptos have failed in their implementation uh, in getting the word out of what crypto is right sure the price has gone up but it hasn't rolled out the way it should have rolled out okay so there's major issues there psychopath is really good i think i've mentioned it here before but it's a commentary about safety versus freedom and how future technology will be used to oppress society especially relevant today with the advances in ai ah that's cool admac this politics always gone wrong was talking about oh, i do 80 cyber city that's a manga psychopaths anime oh psychopaths anime okay so o o e d o 808 cycle city wow during my trip i have met about 10 persons from canada including you all of them were the nicest person persons i have ever known they are very kind funny and helpful what is your secret maple syrup <laughs> Facebook is becoming e corp uh, from Mr. Robot, possibly, but not as not as uh, not as sophisticated or covert, right? Fa like I still can't believe people like shows you who's really in power. Anybody really think Zuckerberg got to where he is without people putting him there? Man, no. Zuckerberg is the is the uh, non-threatening little man they put on there with a fake big smile right to calm people down it, it, get off of Facebook and yeah nasty nasty what means in a song Facebook is the devil surveillance apparatus yeah glad I'm here in Finland we have so much trouble we do libra seems like an attempt by facebook to bring the centralization of surveillance capitalism to digital currency tracking everything you buy and using that in info to sell as or product ideas yeah and mining that data to sell to organizations that want to know things about you right basically this is sort of the uh, rubicon moment right is the united states is the western world ready to become the surveillance state that china is and is moving towards is that what people consider to be freedom right <laughs> freedom to buy is not freedom freedom to purchase things with a currency centralized where they monitor everything you do is not freedom is that the freedom that the western citizens really want not me right so this is sort of the moment where where uh we can test the metal right uh of a society right is is our future what china is doing a lot of major companies in silicon valley would like it to be the centralized government would like it to be pharmaceutical companies conglomerates would like it to be i don't by the way how are your students doing good good i started working with a couple of students this year that were like just a few months ago not uh, anyway they're they're gonna pass <laughs> and everybody's ecstatic uh, loving uh, the students i have right now uh, loving the students I had they, there was a lot of challenges uh, in uh, in the work I was doing uh, teaching mathematics this year just because the system here is completely collapsed and parents are scrambling and some of them there were I had a fair bit of new students this year because I moved to a new city so all of a sudden they're like wow what's going on and they've never encountered teaching style like mine before so they're very happy they're very happy a lot of stress relief from the family really one of the things people don't appreciate is when kids do poorly in school a lot of stress gets introduced into a family and for me one thing I've noticed is once that stress is removed or reduced by my 
intervention or someone like me intervening then what happens is the dynamics of the family improves a lot and people get along better and it's huge effects right and that to me is juice fuels me up right thank you for asking anyway uh, by the way uh, Dante thank you for asking I was going to buy a record player but then I realized that uh, sick hexology wasn't on vinyl so there was no point hexology I don't know hexology love that you read those uh, those comments for sure as long as I can get, stay up sometimes I gotta scroll down fast any notice how phishing emails are becoming more common yeah Martin I've been getting them I'm like what the crap and I've been getting them some of them with names attached to them right so right now I'm going through the email systems and stuff like that sending a lot more stuff to junk and just deleting a lot more stuff uh, the data mining must be insane right I'm actually in the process I'm thinking about uh, deleting a few different accounts from a few different social sites just elimination right uh, they've changed up a little bit Dante there used to be a ton back in the late 90s mid 90s late 90s early 2000s and then it went through uh, a no period and then now it's kicking it up again definitely getting more sophisticated they are definitely getting more sophisticated unfortunately unfortunately fun okay guys that was a couple hours of streaming cool fun hexology is no Jeff as a compilation album of love sick oh love sick part one and two. Oh, okay 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 nice I gotta read that again wait a second oh love sick is not on uh, new job as a stuff is not on vinyl ah oh, brutal Admek. love new job as love sick is amazing that's with Shing Shing Tu as well I think uh, for one of them Shing Tu does uh, uh, does a rap lays down some lyrics and just so you know by the way Admek, I have one uh, beard video where I took a full beard and changed it into the goatee the last one I did with the shaving um, and initially I was gonna cut that cut that video to love sick I think it was part two with Shingo singing and stuff like this uh, but then I went with a uh, different uh, producer just because the guy was independent at the time oh wow me too they're looking very real now some had my password on one email wow yeah I, ha I got one where they had a password that I had from years ago or crazy I think I need to change some passwords now thank you for the stream you said lovesick lovesick six stream keep it up will do I know Shingo 2 actually completed lovesick part 5 and perf perfect circle after oh did he I gotta check that out thanks Admik if you remember Admik if you go to discord if you're on discord post uh, if you know the videos are out post them on uh, the music folder we have I'd love to check those out I forgot the website you you can use to see if your password or email has been exposed oh I wouldn't go there if only 19 uh, here Chicho have a lovely day man you too you too enjoy the stream thanks for the discussion my pleasure and thank you for being here best music ever Bex music ever new Bass. best music ever agreed agreed okay gang thanks for being here thank you for the discussion thank you for the follows thank you for the uh, support and the subs okay uh, we'll be here tomorrow uh, 7 o'clock a.m. again uh, and education discussion but again open discussion so we can talk about education or anything else that you want to talk about uh, but we'll make it you know central theme being education so education supersedes anything else my pleasure Nicholas glad you're still around okay gang 
I uh, hope you have a fantastic Friday and if you can't make it uh, for the stream tomorrow I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I hope for all of us for all of our sakes peace okay I hope we get peace calming down and all those warmongers are arrested and put in jail okay that's it for now gang hope you have a fantastic fantastic day